What's up guys, my name is Mark Steiner and this is my initial impressions video of the AirPods 3. Let's get right into it. So first and foremost, we have the brand new design and these are much more in line with what the AirPods Pro look like without the tips. I've already had people asking me like, why are the new AirPods Pro so much cheaper? And it's like, no, these are not the AirPods Pro. These are the regular AirPods. These are replacing the first and second gen AirPods, but they are much more in line with the AirPods Pro. I must admit, I actually really like this new design. They're lighter, they feel good, the stems are shorter, they stay in my ears better, just like it's an overall win. The charging case is nicer. I, I love this design, it works really, really well, and I am very excited to test these out in the coming days, go for runs and see how they work in the real world. With the shorter stems as part of that new design, you are getting that force sensor so you can have all your playback controls as well as accept and end calls right from the earphones, which I really, really like. Uh, the sensor is fine. It's not quite as tactile as I'd like it to be, but it gets the job done and it feels very secure and you know when you've pushed it. So that's all it really needs to do. The next big feature that Apple really pushed with these earphones, it kind of feels like the whole reason they announced this new set of earphones was for spatial audio. And now their entire lineup features spatial audio and it works. It's fine. It's great. I personally am not a huge fan of spatial audio. So now that it's on these, I'm not doing cartwheels because I'm excited about it. It's just, it's nice that their entire lineup is now identical in that sense with that feature, but I'm not a huge fan of spatial audio and practically never use it. So, but what I am a big fan of is the much improved audio quality coming out of these things. So I can tell a massive difference in terms of sound quality when compared to the old AirPods. And I really, really like these. They're not mind blowing. You're not going to be rediscovering your music. It's not blowing over ear wired headphones out of the, <laughs> the water, but they're much better. You know, I always felt like the original AirPods were very tinny. They didn't have great sound quality. It was really just like the wireless version of what they used to ship in your phone. And it's like, it's fine. It does the job. Uh, but it was never an enjoyable experience. It was just very convenient. And now these are a much more enjoyable experience. They don't compare to AirPods Pro or AirPods Max or over your headphones or really anything else in its price category uh, because there are things that are cheaper that have a better feature set and better sounding earphones, but they are significantly better. And I really, really like that. So it's the bass especially is very noticeable. You're not going to get like insane Beats by Dre bass or like some Sony XM4 bass or on that, but it's definitely fuller. The soundstage is a little bit better. Like it doesn't feel tinny anymore. And I think that's one of the most important things about these earphones. Now going off that sound quality, Apple included that adaptive EQ. So you don't actually have the ability to EQ these earphones like you do on something like the Sony earphones, where you have an actual EQ that you can go into the app and, and dial in exactly as you like, but these have adaptive EQ. So they're gonna kind of like measure your ear, measure your surroundings, and they're going to optimize what your music should sound like. And in one way, that's really, really bad because you have no control over how your music sounds. But I think for the vast majority of people, myself included actually, you're gonna really appreciate this because for the first time, you're going to be able to listen to what the music is supposed to be sounding like despite what everything else is going on, despite if your ear shape is not correct based off of what the average ear is. So like it kind of compensates for all these things. And so the audio sounds really, really good and I really like it. And it's really nice to have that feature in there. It's the same thing that was on the AirPods Max. I was bummed that I couldn't EQ stuff, but the audio quality sounds great. And if I'm wearing a hat or I'm like one ear on, one ear off, the audio quality compensates for that and it sounds really, really good. So I can't really complain that there's no manual EQ because that adaptive EQ is great. And because these sound so much better, you probably wanna be listening to them for a little bit longer. And Apple has you covered on that one with a longer battery life. These now feature a six hour battery life on a single charge and the case is going to give you an additional 30 hours. So if you use that, once a day, that's practically almost a week's worth of charge. And I'm very intrigued to see if it kind of lives up to that advertised battery life. I've only had these for a couple of hours, so I'm not going to be able to tell you with certainty that the battery life is absolutely amazing. But from my very, very, very limited experience with them thus far, battery life seems fine, but I will be sharing my full findings in my full review in the coming days. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see that. 
So I know a lot of people love the convenience of the AirPods when you're taking calls or FaceTime or Zoom or any other audio involved application. So this is what you're going to sound like when you're using these in the real world. They're fine, they're not amazing, but they sound as good or maybe a little bit better than the previous generation. So call quality is not vastly improved, but you know, it's there and you don't sound like a potato. So that's pretty good. Now, one of the biggest changes and personally, one of the features I'm most excited about is the fact that these are now IPX4 water resistant, not only the earphones, but also the case. Now, what that means is that they're going to be 100% sweat proof as well as like light rain. And I really like that. So I can go for a run, not worry that I'm damaging my expensive earphones or get caught in the rain and not worry about damaging my expensive earphones. And I really like that the case is also IPX4 water resistant because normally you're bringing the case with you and if you're going to get sweaty or wet it's nice to know that not only your earphones are protected but the case that they go in isn't going to be damaged either. And speaking of the case it is now a wireless charging case which is compatible with the new MagSafe charger but as well as any Qi wireless charger so that's great it's it's nice that this is a wireless option on these earphones I know a lot of people love that and it's really convenient. And so it's it's nice that it's here. Again, that case is gonna give you 30 additional hours when you put these earphones back in. So these are gonna last a long time and I'm looking forward to testing out that battery life. And of course, these are part of the Apple ecosystem. So they have that instant pairing that we know and love and they connect to all of your Apple devices. And after that initial pairing, they're gonna connect flawlessly every single time. And I really, really like that. Just the perks of that walled garden, you know? So overall, do I recommend these earphones? I personally wasn't a fan of the initial version of these, and I thought they were far too expensive. But now, these are significantly better, and they're even more expensive. So do I think people should get them? My opinion really doesn't matter, because I didn't think people should get the first one, and I was completely wrong, because these became not only the most popular, but the most sold earphones ever in existence and that's mind-blowing so I think a lot of people are going to be picking these earphones up as a very nice upgrade from their older generation airpods so I think if you're in the market for a new pair of airpods this is what you've been waiting for and they're great but if you want something more professional the second gen of the airpods pro will be coming out at a later date so you might want to stay tuned for that but I want to know what you guys think are you excited about these earphones are you going to be picking one up what do you want to see in my full review let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Mark Steiner, and I'll see you next time.